guys! Today is day two of our read aloud, and the story that we're reading is Rainbow Fish. Today, as we read Rainbow Fish, we are going to be working on vocabulary words. So let's go over some of the vocabulary words that you're going to be hearing throughout the story, and we're going to put some motions with them to help you remember them. So our first vocabulary word is shimmer. And shimmer means to shine with a flickering light. So our hand motion for this one is going to be this, shimmer. So if you hear the word shimmer in the story, you're going to do your hand motion, okay? Our next vocabulary word that we're gonna be listening for is called shocked. <gasps> shocked it means a sudden feeling. So a good motion for this could be using our face like this, shocked. <gasps> So when you hear the word shocked in the story, you're gonna make the face <gasps> like you were shocked, okay? Our next vocabulary word is called admire. And that means to look at someone with delight. Our motion for this one is going to put our finger on our chin and pretend to look up at somebody with delight. Just like this, okay? So if you hear the word admire during rainbow fish you're going to be making the motion this okay and our next one is called glide that means to move sloops whoo excuse me to move smoothly without effort as you can see the fish is gliding through the water okay our motion for this one well, to be our hand, pretend like we're the rainbow fish and we're gliding through the water. So if you hear that word, you're going to do your glide motion. All right, and our last one is wise. Just like that wise octopus in the story, wise means to be smart. So if you hear the word wise in the story, the motion for that is going to be putting our hands on our head like we're smart or wise, okay? So, as you are listening to the story Rainbow Fish, if you hear any of our vocabulary words, remember, shimmer, you're going to do the hand motion. If you hear the word shocked, you're going to be making the shocked face. <gasps> if you hear the word admire, you're going to do the admire motion. Or if you hear the word glide, you'll make the glide motion. And if you hear the word wise, you're going to be doing the wise motion. So as you're listening to Rainbow Fish today, be listening for the vocabulary words. The Rainbow Fish, written and illustrated by Marcus Feister. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But Rainbow Fish would just glide past proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. 
I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed day two's reading of Rainbow Fish. Your activity for today is going to be the activity called Listen and Draw. The directions at the top say, illustrate the wise octopus. So this was my drawing, the best that I could do of the wise octopus. And also illustrate a picture of a shimmering scale. So I did my wise octopus and my shimmering scale. Now you are going to print this out, color your pictures, then take a picture through Seesaw and send it to your teacher. Have a good day.